Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day so if there's something that you guys want us to do let us know by commenting in the comment section below and we'll do it for you we've got a second youtube channel which you guys should check out called funny and just see to point all and you guys can hit the subscribe and enjoy our weekly content we've got a podcast called diving in with funny and jesse and you can find us on itunes spotify pod being this channel or our second youtube channel for the visual We've got a Patreon account. You guys can feel free to become members and we'll appreciate. A uh, big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. And just thank you for everything. You guys are the best. I hope you guys are doing all right. And may you stay blessed. So today I'm going to be reacting to 10 surprising end time prophecies, prophecies in Islam part 2. I don't know if I reacted to part one, but someone suggested this, so I guess I did. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. In the Islamic faith, prophecies of the end are believed to be in place to guide not just Muslims, but everybody, so that we all know when the end is near. So there's so many signs and traditions mentioned in Islamic traditions, and some also mentioned in the Quran. Part one was not enough, so I had to do a part two. Hey guys, welcome back to FTD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton, and I covered a lot of information in part one. So if you haven't seen it already, I have a link down below in the video description section. Go check it out after you watch this one. There's a lot more information in it. So let's jump into this episode. Starting at number 10, the first sign is earthquakes. The hour, which is known as a day of resurrection, will not be established till earthquakes will increase in number. Now that's from the Hadith Bukhari volume 9 book 88. So when you take a look between the 11th and the 18th century there were 64 earthquakes. Now in the 19th century that number was around 47 earthquakes and in the 20th century there have been approximately 313 earthquakes. Then now in the 21st century there have been approximately approximately 380 earthquakes. So Muslims believe that we are actually living in one of the end time signs right now. Next is what the Prophet Muhammad said, the hour will not be established till the people compete with one another in constructing high buildings. This is found in Bukhari volume 9 book 88 hadith 237. He also said when you see naked barefoot ones becoming leaders of men that is one of its signs when the shepherds of lambs compete in constructing tall buildings that is one of its signs. So Muslims look at places like Dubai in particular and structures like the Burj Khalifa which stands at 828 meters tall. Also the Jeddah Tower in Saudi Arabia after completion it's going to be the tallest building in the world which will stand at 1008 meters as well as many other tall buildings in the Arab world. The next sign is the hour will not be established till a man when passing by a grave of someone will say would that I were in that place and that's in Bukhari volume 9 book 88. Now this is believed to be describing anxiety and stress and depression levels nowadays being so high. So the belief is that we are heading in a direction where people would be happier if they weren't even alive. Next up at number 7 in the words of the Prophet Muhammad he said trade will become so widespread that a woman will be forced to help her husband in business. Now of course there's nothing wrong with women in business and helping their husbands grow their businesses. When you look at the time that the Quran was actually recorded, that wasn't the norm. It was the man that made the money. So you fast forward to our day and age now, it's common that women are working and starting businesses and helping their husbands also start businesses. Also in the Hadith, you'll find this statement, O Muhajiran, which are emigrants from Mecca to Medina, you may be afflicted by five things. God forbid that you should live to see them. If fornication, should become widespread, you should realize that this has never happened without new diseases befalling the people, which their forbearers never suffered. So the word to take note of is diseases there, because STDs like HIV as well as others are very widespread, a lot more than 
before. The next one is from the Quran, Surah 75 verses 6 to 9. When is the day of resurrection? So when the sight becomes dazed and the moon becomes dark and the sun and the moon are brought together. So the sun and the moon as you can see will lose its brightness, lose its heat, will become dark and the moon will also become dark. This is one of these signs. Imagine looking up and you're like, hey, it's daytime but like it's so dark. Son, where'd you go? The sign that comes in at number four is divorces will be a daily occurrence. And that's in the hadith according to Alama Sarafini and Awal Yam Al Kiyama. So when you take a look, you know, 41% of marriages end in divorce in America. There's one divorce approximately every 36 seconds. That's nearly 2,400 divorces per day, which works out to be 16,800 divorces a week and 876,000 divorces a year. Makes you wonder why people are getting married if they're just gonna divorce. I don't know. Well, that's probably another topic for another video. So the Euphrates will reveal a treasure of gold and many people will actually lose their life fighting over it, each one of them hoping that they'll get their hands on the treasure. And that's in Sahih Muslim book 41 verse 6918. Sign number two is gonna be an Abyssinian, AKA a Habisha leader with thin shins will destroy the Kaaba. Now the Kaaba is what Muslims refer to as the house of God and located in Mecca and Muslims all year round perform the pilgrimage called Hajj which is one of the five pillars of Islam. So as you could imagine if this thing is destroyed that would be a big deal. And by the way that term there Habisha is used to refer to both Ethiopians and Eritreans as a whole just in case you guys were wondering. And by the way this is found in Sahih Muslim book 41 verse 6951. And finally let's talk about the Mahdi or the guided one, he's going to appear and be the Imam of the Muslims. And this is found in Sunan Abu Dawud book 36 verses 4,272. The Mahdi is the redeemer of Islam who according to some Islamic traditions will actually appear and rule for 5 or 7, 9 or 15 years all depending on the different interpretations of the different schools of thought in Islam. So there's no direct reference to the Mahdi in the Quran, only in the Hadith you'll find mention of the Mahdi. And in most Islamic traditions, the Mahdi will arrive with Isa, who is Jesus, to defeat the Dajjal. All right guys, so that's all I have for you in this episode. I know pretty amazing, pretty eye-opening, very fascinating stuff. It was like such a mental workout to find and research all of this and put it together in this video for you. But nevertheless, I love it. I love to hear what other videos you want to see next. Sound off down below in the comment section as well as leave your thoughts and comments about anything that I shared in this episode. Now if you guys are still here, Here's another FTD Facts episode. Just tap the annotation right beside my head. It'll take you to it. My social media links are also below in the video description section so you can follow me, shoot me a message there. I love chit-chatting with you guys, especially on Instagram. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified of our daily episodes here in FTD Facts. I really love the videos these guys do. Big shout out to them. Um, I want to sit here and say these signs are yet to come but then i think we are all very much aware that all the things that i've mentioned all the facts mentioned in this um video are actually happening the first one the not the first one but the tenth one he started with was just something or something else do you know do you guys know that you can actually download apps which um notify you that there has been an earthquake maybe in Zambia, Canada or whatever place it is like it just gives you, it updates you there and then as it happens it's just just something else we really need to huh, I really wish there was a light to this video but everything is already happening too fast, too much and it's just confusing very very confusing otherwise we should open our eyes and let god be part of us as well because there's a lot happening too much is happening at once and it's just confusing let me know what you think what you have to say about these facts in particular 
um if there's something that you guys want us to react to let us know in the comment section below and we'll do it for you make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video